What's up guys, Coach Lucas here. Hope you're doing well. Today, I want to talk to you about the importance of self-confidence and self-belief in performance. And so, as you may know, I work with players from all over the world. Uh, just this past week, I've had players come and train with me from California, uh, from Michigan, from Cincinnati, from Maryland, and they come down here to where I train here in Naples, Florida, and for those of you that don't know, I run a program called School of Champions. And in this program is designed for players that want to play professionally and who are serious about mastering their craft and pursuing a professional career. So how does self-belief and confidence play a role in a player's performance? You can imagine if your player is playing more confidently, they're gonna perform better. And it's not rocket science, and your player can have all the skills in the world, but if they don't have the confidence to perform on the pitch, all those skills are not going to matter. So the first principle in reaching optimal performance is having the self-belief, having the confidence, and, and, and embodying that and making that a practice. So if you want to improve in this area, the key to this is understanding where are these self-beliefers confidence issues coming from? Why do they exist? And for a lot of players, it may be coming from this little fear inside of them to, they may be afraid of disappointing their parents or they may be afraid of disappointing their coach or they may be afraid of disappointing their teammates. Maybe they're comparing themselves too much to their teammates. And so if you could figure out where the issue is coming from, what the root problem of the issue is, then you could start to fix the problem. And the reason why I wanna bring this up to you is because players that come to me, a lot of them will come to me in the beginning to focus on this root problem and to solve this root problem. And by solving this root problem, the game changes. Their performances change, their performances increase, but also their rate of development improves. So now they can start feeling traction in their development. They start to see more rapid improvements, more breakthroughs, bigger breakthroughs, smaller breakthroughs, and they get excited about that. It becomes a feedback loop, but it all starts with finding this root of why this problem exists and ripping it out and putting the right practices in place, the right strategies in place so that they could solve this problem, they can grow from there. And what I've seen with players, specifically the players that have been working with me this past week, is one of them's been working with me for five years and he at the beginning may have had some shaky confidence. He may have had some shaky self-belief. And by solving that, it put him on a trajectory that completely changed his career. Now he's playing professionally. He's coming down here to work with me and prepare for his, his, his season. Another example is a player from California. She was working with me and had some issues, had some, 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 some trouble with her confidence. And by solving that, it reinvigorated her love for the game. And what this does when a player is reinvigorated and they have conviction in themselves and they have self, they, they can advocate for themselves and they can rely on themselves, now they learn better, right? So now they, they, they're more curious, they're more willing to ask questions. They're, they're looking for more opportunities to grow. Again, this feedback loop can grow, develop, strengthen, and it becomes a rapid process of improvement in development. Another example is one of my players from Connecticut. And in first working with me, we were able to identify that he really wasn't aligned with his long-term goal. And perhaps that comes from a lack of self-belief. And really, his dream, his long-term goal is to become a professional. But he was selling himself short. And he was really, his actions and his behaviors and his emotions were really aligned towards playing at a college level. So he was pursuing the college level when in reality his goal is to go pro. So his bar was here and he was acting accordingly when in reality he, he really, his dream is to get here. And so by uncovering that 
in breaking through that, we were able to able to realign with his goals of becoming professional. And what that has done for him has completely changed things for him. He's now learning at a more rapid pace. He's growing and developing at a more rapid pace. He's putting himself in positions that he wouldn't normally put himself in, more challenging positions, whether it's ID camps or whether it's training with MLS players. He's putting himself in more challenging positions now that he has that conviction and he's aligned with where he wants to go, okay? This, in just in the last 90 days, I've spoken with his family, him and I have been working closely together. He has been growing and developing at a rapid pace. And this is a player that is playing with biggest one of the has been playing with one of the biggest clubs in the United States. So this goes for everyone, not just players that are recreational. It's not just players that are average. This is for players that are also extremely talented at this game. When you can unlock this chain that holds players back from adopting that self-belief and tapping into that power of self-conviction and self-belief, the game changes. The game changes for them and it really helps things accelerate to a new level. So I really wanna just stress the importance of this for you and your family and your player that if you're feeling like there's trouble in here, if you feel like your player is struggling with this or they're stagnant in their development, talk to me, reach out to me. And in fact, if, if you wanna learn more about School of Champions, the pro program that I offer for families and for players that are in these types of situations, I'd like you to check out the link wherever this is posted. I'll post the link to that demonstration so you could see what this is all about, okay? So I'll post the link for School of Champions. Check that out, see if it's something that you feel is right for your player to see if we can help them tap into what makes them unique, what makes them special, and help them tap into that self-conviction, that confidence, so that they can get aligned with their long-term goals and we could start growing and developing at a more rapid pace, okay? I hope you found value in this. Uh, we'll see you in the next one.